This is a standard keyboard, and this is a standard mouse. Granted, this is a gaming mouse, and this is a wireless backlit keyboard. For the most part, they're standard, whereas these are not. This is the Contour Design Roller Mouse with the balance keyboard attached to it, plus the Contour Design Shuttle Pro version 2, and today we're going to be finding out what separates these from these. So to understand the products, you have to understand the company. Contour Design is a company that makes ergonomic peripherals for your computer. This goes for mice, keyboards, or like the Shuttle Pro. It also means video editing accessories that are going to add to your workflow, not fight against it. And at the same time, making it ergonomic, that way it increases the health benefits from these particular items. So you're probably wondering, how can a keyboard or a mouse or a content creation tool actually be beneficial to my health. Uh, see, as a full-time job, I am in occupational therapy. I've been practicing in OT for five years. I'm a director of rehab, and I know a thing or two about hands. That is something that we specialize in, and even though I don't have a specialty in it, I did learn quite a bit about it in school, and I know the, the whole issue with carpal tunnel, and that involves a diagram. So let's jump into the diagram. So this is my arm. First, we're gonna draw the ulnar nerve, and this is going to be in the pink color. And you can kind of see it. Basically, it stretches out to your pinky and then your ring finger. Then you have your median nerve. Now, this is the nerve that causes carpal tunnel whenever it is compressed in the carpal tunnel canal, which is right where that little circle is. This nerve extends from a little bit on your ring finger to the middle finger, then your index finger, and then your thumb. Now the reason why this gets compressed is due to holding your wrist in the improper position. So when your wrist is cocked up, similar to this position, over a period of time, it causes compression on the carpal tunnel canal, and then of course compression on that nerve, which results in like a pins and needles type feeling in the tips of your fingers where you can see these green lines. So let's begin with the balance keyboard. What is the balance keyboard? The balance keyboard is a Bluetooth keyboard that's ran off of AAA batteries and it has a Bluetooth dongle. In other words, like a little Bluetooth receiver, you plug it into your computer and that's how it's going to maintain that wireless connection. The balance keyboard doesn't feature an on and off button, which is kind of cool because it has a built in a power saving feature where whenever you don't use it for an extended period of time, it just automatically shuts off. And then whenever you hit a key, it turns back on or whenever it realizes that, hey, it's connected to that Bluetooth receiver, it just powers on. It features media control keys located right along the top with your standard function buttons and they work really well. It's also built rock solid. And if you're into content creation, the keys are very quiet. So you're not gonna get any clicking or clacking whenever you're pressing the keyboard and you're doing a voiceover or anything like that, which is definitely a major win. Now the keyboard features two small feet on the bottom. And of course, depending on the feet that you use depends on the angle you're going to get whenever you're typing. If you want a larger angle, depending on your wrist position, uh, you're gonna use the larger feet. If you want a smaller angle, use the smaller feet. The keyboard retails for 90 bucks, which is a bit expensive, especially when you compare it to some of the other keyboards that are 90 bucks that are more feature rich, I would say. So what it boils down to is if you're in the market for a keyboard, I wouldn't buy this one. However, where this keyboard stands out is the fact that it was custom built to go with the roller mouse. And when you combine the two, well, you have the ultimate workstation. So what is the roller mouse? Well, the roller mouse comes in multiple different variations. The one that I have is the roller mouse red plus, and it retails for 265 bucks, making it pretty pricey, especially when you consider that it is a mouse and a peripheral for a computer. However, it is a mouse that I can assure you stands out from anything that you have ever used, and it is packed with a lot of different features. It connects via a USB cable, so there's no type of special connectors or anything like that. The roller mouse has several dedicated buttons, including a dedicated copy and a dedicated paste button, as well as a left, center, and right click button, a scrollable wheel with a center clickable button, and also a mouse adjustment speed button with several different steps that you can choose from. You navigate on screen using the roll bar, so you roll it up to go up or roll it down to go down or however it is you have it set up in the software and then left to right and right to left in order to go those 
directions. The roll bar itself is also clickable, so you can click and drag or click to select. Uh, it's just like using a mouse, except it's a bar and you roll it. So it, it sounds a little bit weird, but once you get used to it, it's invaluable. On the front of the roller mouse, you're gonna find some thick padding and that's for wrist support. This goes back to the ergonomics I was talking about in the beginning. This relieves some of that strain and pressure on the carpal tunnel or that canal that I was telling you about that presses down on the median nerve. The roller mouse connects to the balance keyboard flawlessly, but if you don't want the balance keyboard or you have your own and you just prefer that, it will connect to it using the uh, detachable keyboard trays. So you can actually just slide these on, you can extend it, you can shorten it, you can raise it, whatever it is that you need to do or want to do to get your keyboard at the right height, uh, you're able to do so. And basically you want the roll bar to sit somewhat flush with your keyboard in order for you to decrease the amount of times you have to lift your hands to go from mouse to keyboard. Once you download the drivers and the application associated with those drivers, you can actually customize some of the buttons on the roller mouse. So instead of having a copy and paste button, you can actually change that up to launch an application or have a shortcut for whenever you're doing some photo, video, or audio editing. So speaking about all of this customization, this brings me to the Shuttle Pro version two. It's a $99 content creator Creator's wet dream in terms of peripheral. It's amazing. It works with Mac OS or Windows and it connects using a USB cable. Now, just like the rest of their products, it has an ergonomic design, giving you a nice wrist support as well as promoting the longevity of use without getting sore or tired. Once you download the driver software, you can customize the 15 programmable buttons located on this thing. The possibilities are pretty much endless. This could be hotkeys to quick toggles to uh, just quick function keys, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do. That way it will give you a more productive workflow, whether you're video, audio, or photo editing, and it works beautifully. It also has a jog and shuttle wheel. So there's actually two different dials on this thing. There are many different uh, presets, such as ones for Adobe, for Final Cut Pro 10, uh, for Avid. But if you just wanna get you know down and dirty and customize everything and make it your own, you can do that as well. Now what's really cool is that the drivers allow for automatic app detection. So if you have a certain preset that you like for, I don't know, we'll say Adobe Audition, and then you have one for Adobe Premiere, and then you have one for Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve, you can actually set these up and customize it to your liking. And then whenever you launch that application, it will automatically kick that preset in. So you don't have to go into the setting and change it every single time. It will automatically detect the application you're using and then pick that preset. Each of the clear plastic key tops can be popped off and then a label can be inserted in that clear top to identify what button does what at all times. So what are my final thoughts? Well, the Ultimate Workstation Bundle can be picked up today for 334 bucks, specifically the one that I have. And I'm not gonna lie, that is extremely expensive for a keyboard and mouse combination. But you're not paying for a typical keyboard or just a typical mouse. You're paying for the time and the science and all of the hard work that went into creating something that is completely ergonomic that will increase risk support and overall decrease the risk of potential surgery in the future, all while maintaining a more functional and productive workflow. From an editor's standpoint, I would say that these tools are invaluable, specifically the Shuttle Pro version two, or even the roller mouse. In the beginning though, it wasn't all rainbows and unicorn farts. I actually had some issues specifically on Windows with the drivers, but recently they did update those drivers and I haven't had any reoccurrences. I guess my biggest gripe here is with the keyboard. I would say for 89 bucks, I was expecting it to have a few more features, such as maybe a cable option. That would be cool because, you know, Bluetooth isn't always the most reliable in terms of connectivity. So having a straight wire connection is definitely always better. Plus having backlit keys. That is definitely great to have whenever you're doing some serious video editing because most uh, colorist or video editors are doing work in a dark room. So having backlit keys is definitely awesome. But other than that, I don't really have too many other gripes. Everything else seemed to function perfectly and I'm definitely happy with this bundle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or get at me on social media. Those links can be found in the description as well as links to purchase anything that you saw in this video. Huge thanks to Contour Design for sending this out to me. This video was not sponsored in any way. They did supply the product and they left me my own free will to say whatever it is I wanted to about their product and give them an honest review. Again, if you guys enjoyed this, drop that big thumbs up because it does help me and I will talk to you in the next one. Be easy.